But today, we're talking about one of the hottest topics. Anybody, I always hear people talking about it because they're trying to figure it out. It's expensive, it's tough, it's confusing, but not when we have Mr. Rob Schwartz with Premier College Guidance with us. You guys are awesome. Uh, as always, a pleasure to be back. Gino, good to see you. Don, all right, well, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's interesting you guys mention uh, this connection of you have to make smart decisions when it comes to your home and in, in terms of picking the right mortgage and the right plan. It's not all that different from what I do as a college counselor. Think of it in these terms. When was the last time you let a child in your household make a hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollar decision? Right. Um, probably not a good idea. Wouldn't, I don't care how smart they are. It wouldn't be a real great <laughs> idea is, is the answer you guys have both come to. Well, what do you think we do when, when the child's or uh, children's? We know when the children's are going to turn 17 or 18. <laughs> when, when the children in your home are, are becoming you know, seniors and they're applying to colleges, that's exactly what is going on. These that's are a good point. You don't even think about that. You think, yeah, I want to go to this $250,000 you know, debt uh, to go to school, Dad. Well, yeah. yeah, so do I. <laughs> well, and then you know how a lot of those decisions are made. We've talked about this before. Oh, I've heard of that school. That must be a great school. Or this my sounds friends like a good there. idea. My friends going there. It's like you guys have been on the show a couple of times. <laughs> and if you want to check out the show, actually, this is videoed live. Thanks to Furman uh, with AP Productions. He does a great job with three cameras in here, and uh, it's live right here at Vault Media Studios, right here at Skyline Home Loans. You got to check it out. Go to donandgino.com. Click on the listen chat live, and boom! There, are, actually, it's just listen live now. I think it does say listen live. Yeah, it does yeah. say listen live. Or watch live. live. Yeah. That's what it says. I think okay. it says watch Something live. Like that. Anyways. Yeah. Wait, did we cut you off, Rob? Oh, no, that's all right. I'm used to it. <laughs> um, so it's important for, for families to realize that there's a lot of planning that can be done to make this a much less scary, less painful, less expensive process. And that's part of what we do at Premier College Guidance. That's called educating them. Yes, that would in Information fact be is key. That's it what is. we do in mortgages. No different. People need information to make an educated decision. If they aren't, they're probably making an emotional decision, which is not usually the best case. Uh, emotional decisions are the number one mistake families make. That's one of the things we're going to talk about today is... Did you know, I get a good gold star for that? Almost. Oh. <laughs> How about a silver star, buddy? How about okay, a silver star? Okay. Just keep trying. You're almost there. <laughs> one of the things that we look at this time of year, we're in February. We're, we're looking at March, not too far down the road. So what is this? It's acceptance season. Hmm. Colleges and universities have made their decisions or are in the process of making their decisions. And it's, yes, we want you to come to our prestigious college or university. No, thank you. We appreciate your, your offer. We appreciate collecting the, uh, the fees you paid us to review your application, but we don't have room for you. Or we're going to defer you to uh, a pool a little bit further down the road, and we'll let you know in April. Based on that, you're going to have to come to some conclusions, and you're going to have to rationalize how do I make the right decision based on the two, the three, the five, the eight, the ten schools that I got into? How do I pick the right one? And that's one of the things we're going to address today. I love that. I love that. I love that. How you put it like, so you got accepted. Now what? That's exactly right. It's not the end of the game. It's the middle of the game. Right, right. And it's exciting. I would imagine when you put all this effort into getting accepted at all these colleges, now the emotions do kick in. But you really got to be smart about this, this, this decision, not just financially, but also for the future. What do you want to accomplish? And I'm sure you're going to help us with some of the factors that we should all think of, correct? Absolutely. Um, the, the funny thing is, it's not all that different from making the initial decision as to who to apply to and why to apply there. You've got to break things out and you've got to ask yourself, okay, what am I going to get? You're a shopper, just as if you were buying a house. As a matter of fact, it's a very good analogy. You're the average person in the United States, if memory serves, lives in their primary residence between five and six years. Correct. The average stay in the United States at a public college or university is between five and six years. Twelve was too much, Gino. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> that's a gold star answer right there. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that's important. You, I mean, that's a great analogy. Thanks for bringing that up. I mean, obviously, with us doing home loans for a bazillion years, um, we, we try to, you know, use the same logic. How long are you going to be in the home? What's important to you? Is it payment? Is it down payment? Is this? What are you going to get out of that home? A and all those questions. I love that you're going to help us with some of those questions. And you always break down things very well because you work with so many families trying to help them with that decision. You actually know what to look for. Well, and, and it's not, it, I don't want to paint the picture that there is a, a one-stop shop 
you know, one way to solve this problem methodology. Every single family is different. Sometimes choosing that two hundred dollars or $250,000 school is the right decision for that family. Other times, it's an absolutely ridiculous decision. So it's getting to know the family, understanding their goals, understanding their dreams, understanding what they're doing beyond college. That's a huge part of the decision-making process, and you have to take the time to think, th think that through very clearly. So as you're guiding, and again, we're here with Rob Schwartz with Premier College Guidance, and uh, he's helping us, dis helping you really look at the overall picture of choosing the right college, especially after you've now been accepted to quite a few colleges. And this is for a lot of you out there, whether it's you or somebody else you know, your grandkids, your kids, uh, or you. I mean, a lot of your kids. This is Saturday. So hopefully you guys are paying attention to this because we always give great guidance to your future. And Rob Schwartz with the Premier College Guidance is the guy. So you want to stay tuned because we're going to go in depth on how. Do, what, what are some of the questions you should be asking yourself? What are the, the factors? And Rob works with a lot of families helping guide them down the right path. And we love that, Rob. And we'll come back in just a few minutes to go into details that's going to help you with this decision and make it not so scary. We'll be right back.